Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a good janitor AI bot. Let's begin. So once you go to janitorai.com, you'll be geared about this page where it says Spooktober. So because this is the different season, it's going to show this for now. You're going to go to the top right and then select create a character. So it says you create a character. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to add an image of that bot. So it says you drag or click. So there we go. I dragged an image of an anime girl that I searched up on my web browser. So I just dragged it into here. And then if you want to change it, you can just click on this option here. Now here it says that we have to enter a character name. And here a character chat name. An optional nickname for your character that will show up in chats instead of name and be used in the LLM. So you don't have to do it because this is optional. But once you see this red star here, it means you have to add a name or you have to do it. So here you can enter your character bio if you want to. Then if we scroll down again, character tags, you have the ability to add custom tags to your bots. So tag your characters with relevant keywords. So there I'm going to select female, female characters. Then I'm going to click again. I will use game. And then I'm going to use celebrity. Then if we scroll down again, it says here privacy settings. So do you want your bot to be public or private? So I'm going to say I want it public. Then if we scroll down again, contents rating, is it limited or limitless? So please make sure that you read these bulleted lists here. So minor characters under 18 years old are not allowed regardless of tag. So I'm going to select limited. Then I scroll down again. Then you have to put in your personality for this specific bot. Describe your character's persona. This will help define how the character interacts with others. So if we scroll down again, it says your scenario. Outline the context and setting for your character's conversations. So this is my scenario. The setting is in Paris and at a coffee shop. Then if we scroll down again, initial message, first message. The first message from your character, make it engaging to encourage longer interactions. Then you can enter example dialogues, provide example conversations to guide your character's responses. Then if you scroll down again, show character definition. So I can even click on that here. If you want to toggle it, you go to the right side here and then you toggle it on. And then you are going to select create character. Now it says character created successfully. And there you go. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.